Welcome to US Valley Point. Today's topic is uh, Wilson's disease. Um, this is an important topic for step 1 rather than a step 2 CK and a step 3. Um, let me start with this. Uh, before I would like I would request you to please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Let me start with this. I will discuss briefly since it is not so much important. So let me start with this. Wilson's disease low ceruloplasmin. This is the best blood test to diagnose. Remember, bl best blood test. The most accurate, the gold standard test is biopsy, liver biopsy. Okay, let me recall the cause of genetics. Sometimes it can be asked in USMLE step 1. That is, is located on a 13Q uh, copper transporting adenosine triphosphatase gene ATP7B in the liver. Remember, this is very important. Okay. What is the pathophysiology? That's very important. Excess of copper may be rendered non toxic by forming complexes with apometallothionine ions to produce copper metallothionines or it may be excreted into bile. So, since it is excreted in the bile, so liver has a major role, right? Normal copper balance is maintained by regulation of excretion rather than absorption. And the predominant route of ex uh, copper excretion, that is 95%, is hepatobiliary in nature. So, liver is the most important organ to maintain the copper level in the body. So, when the copper level increases, so liver should show signs of copper accumulation right so biopsy liver biopsy is the best gold standard method okay sign and symptoms briefly i will discuss because there are many sign and symptoms with this neuropsychiatric uh, musculoskeletal hematological all blah blah blah, blah. okay uh, frequently early early symptoms include uh, difficulty speaking excessive salivation ataxia mask like faces clumsiness with the hands and personality changes um okay late changes are uh, dystonia spasticity grand mal seizures rigidity and flexion contraction so these are not so much specific but you need to remember because this affects a uh, cns right so musculoskeletal symptoms osteopenia premature osteoarthritis sometimes it is asked with such disease and they will ask which of the following could be seen with this syndrome is osteopenia remember the osteopenia and a very important topic very very important point is hemolytic anemia that's very important you need to remember which type of anemia you can see in Wilson's disease. It's a hemolytic anemia. Remember, Fanconi syndrome can be seen, right? Okay, there is some part below the screen. Nothing to worry. Okay, the important part is the KF rings. Kessler Fischer rings. Uh, these rings in USMLE they will ask you the location. Okay, so how they look actually greenish brown color, greenish brown color. Um, they located on the desmet membrane. Remember desmet membrane in the limbus of the cornea. Desmet membrane. Okay. KFD. Desmet. KFD. KF rings. D. KFD. Okay. Not KFC. Uh, Kessler Fischer rings are useful diagnostic signs. They are no longer considered pathognomic of Wilson's disease unless accompanied by neurological manifestation. So if you see a uh, KF rings with the neurological symptoms then you can suspect of wilson's disease then it is going to have value in diagnosing the wilson's disease if simply he has a case of fissure rings is not going to give exactly that the patient is suffering from wilson's disease okay uh they may also because the reason is because sometimes kf rings are seen in the cholestatic disorder such as a partial biliary atresia primary biliary cirrhosis, primary sclerosing cholangitis and cryptogenic cirrhosis. So any liver disease most of the pro most of the time you see Kessler Fischer ring because liver is the main organ for the excretion of or maintenance of the copper level in the body. Okay. This is actually a treatment part. Sometimes they can ask this is a recent treatment going on the molecular adsorbance recirculating system Mars. So recently scientists have gone to mars also so you, you can remember mars is an extra corporeal liver support no need to remember in detail how it is then blah 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 usmle point copper accumulation in the liver very important what is wilson's disease copper accumulation in the liver brain and the cornea 
So if you remember about the sign and look for a sign and symptoms of the, due to brain, cornea, sign, liver, sign and symptom, right? Basal dysfunction. Remember, sometimes they ask you where get it accumulated. Okay. Uh, then the KF rings. Uh, low seroplasmin is the best blood test. Bl best blood test. Whereas the best specific is liver biopsy. Biopsy is always best. Remember. So how do you treat it? We have to treat it with the chelating agents like penicillamine, right? So tips is used in the treatment of portal hypertension. Is reversed for individuals with recurrent or uncontrolled variceal bleeding that is unresponsive to standard treatment. So last is you cannot see it's beneath the screen. It's a liver transplant. Okay. So these are very important points. What you need to remember. Try to memorize at least the last slide of this uh, definition where it accumulates, which uh, KF rings where it accumulates, and what is the treatment, and which of the following is the best blood test and best specific test. Okay. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you.